Strike Back Origins Part 5. Um, we got one more episode to go next week. It's this, you know, season finale slash series finale for, you know, that portion of Strike Back. But this episode I thought was really well done. I enjoyed, you know, how it started was, re you know, really interesting to me because it was just a flat-out firefight. It was war. And, you know, I was trying to figure out, you know, what's going to happen that's going to signify, you know, this is what's to come for this episode. And, you know, it's just people, you know, soldiers going down. They're U.S. soldiers, actually, which is important to note because it kind of ties into the story. But, you know, it's U.S. soldiers that are fighting. People are going down. They're calling for air support. And, you know, when air support comes in, you know, they're like, all right, we're about to, you know, basically beat the bad guys and survive. And there's a guy who's, you know, on a computer and he redirects the missile to attack the soldiers and you know a lot of them get killed i don't think they specify whether or not it was all of them but i'm sure you know there were more than you know a, a few but it turns out this guy is actually a former british soldier who defected and became basically an arms dealer who now works you know in afghanistan and you know helps basically attack american soldiers and it was great to see you know porter he goes out he goes undercover he gets, you know, I guess he gets captured, but, you know, he keeps his persona up. You know, he has to learn all the different things. When the guy tests him, he basically passed the test. And it doesn't really hurt, you know, that he saved his life because he was about to be killed off anyway. You know, he was kind of digging too deep to figure out, you know, who the boss was. But he saves the guy when the army comes in. He helps the guy escape. And it was pretty cool, you know, how he had to... It was interesting just the fact that he had to fight against the American soldiers because even though he was clearly on a mission, he was, you know, basically caught with a guy who was sort of an enemy of the state and or an enemy of the country, you know. But, you know, he since he was with that guy, they kind of just, you know, went against certain rules and they didn't decide to see who he really was or you know, decide to even let him go or let him do his mission because they lost soldiers to this guy who, you know, used to be British and just defected because of, you know, certain instabilities. And, you know, Porter saves this guy. And, of course, I can't remember his name. That's why I just keep calling him this guy. But when he saves the guy, you know, it's really funny. He's like, you know, he shoots the one soldier and he shoots the other guy in the head. And the guy's just looking around. He's like, oh, that's cool. And, you know, he saves him again. And these types of things kind of stick with the guy because he used to be a soldier so he's like okay he has some pretty intense training for just an arms dealer and I love the scene where he does out the guy or where he does out Porter to like the shark they call him and I enjoyed that scene just because I didn't think this guy had any clue that Porter was a soldier but you know with him being a soldier he was conscious enough to actually recognize certain skills and the fact that he was just a good fighter and he wasn't just like some inexplicably amazing arms dealer so it was cool to see that and you know this guy does have some serious instabilities which is why you know him knowing who porter or knowing that porter was an agent was a bit of a shock because he goes through and they talk about and through the whole episode they talk about how you know, him making that mistake where he destroyed that village by redirecting the missile by mistake, it kind of ruined his life. You know, it kind of made him go insane. And there was the part where he shows Porter the picture that was in his belt, which I want one of those belts now because that was kind of cool. But, you know, like his daughter wrote, you know, drew a picture and it said, like, you know, it's not your fault, daddy, and stuff like that. And, you know, that stuck with him. And when he sees the picture of his family, you know, he kind of has a, another breakdown and he's you know, like, his old life is gone because he screwed up and killed those people, and no matter how much he cared about his family, he was just, he lost it too much to, you know, go back to his normal life, and I thought he was an interesting character, I thought he was a great character, actually, just to have that sort of instability, and he seems normal, but in certain situations, you could really see how impacted he was by the mistake he made, and so I thought it was a really good balance of him, you know, seeming normal, but then in the rare circumstances, we get to see how, you know, hurt he really is mentally by what happened in his past. But it was a great episode to me. I loved, you know, everything about it. You know, Collinson is, you know, trying to work with the Americans and, you know, get Porter back and have them complete their mission. And, 
you know, when he finds out Porter escaped, so no one really has any leverage or anything to offer or gain, you know, he's like, well, I'm pretty much, you know, in the win on the winning side right now because Porter is obviously going to escape and, you know, he'll come back home and I'll, we'll get this guy and basically kill him off because that's just what Collinson wants to do every episode is just kill the person. But I thought it was a really great episode. I'm super excited for next week because it is the season finale. Um, I watched the preview, you know, they, Collinson and Porter do end up having a fight together, and then they sort of have to stop their fight to deal with another fight, but I'm excited to see where things go, because I want to see, you know, now that, you know, the hacker guy figured out that his boss is actually working with the Americans, I'm definitely curious to see if he decides to go back to, <clears throat> sorry, to, um, MI6, and, you know, work with Section 20 again, or, if he'll just kind of lose it and just try to kill that guy and end up dead himself, I don't know. But definitely excited because we only have you know one episode to go for the season finale. So comment below, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Um, with it ending, what do you guys think of this six? You know, these five episodes. I'll probably ask this next week again because you know it'll be finished. But how do you think this sort of you know six part season is ramped up so far? Because personally. You know, I think it's a great season. You know, I, like I mentioned, I want to say like last week or maybe two weeks ago when they talked about, you know, Porter's wife dying, which, yeah, I guess that was last week. You know, I wish that this wasn't just a one season show before it changed to the strike back we have now because I like the development they had with these characters and stuff like that. And I'd like to see Porter kind of advance and stuff as a character with his daughter and to have a storyline that follows that, but knowing that doesn't happen, it really sucks. But I still love the show, you know, for what it has and, you know, what it'll eventually have next week. But comment below, let me know what you guys think of this episode, other episodes, and definitely let me know what do you guys want to see for next week's episode more than anything. So comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.